thrilled to be here tonight to present the Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award to Carol Burnett. Carol, Carol has been such a huge part of all of our lives for the past 50 years. From her Broadway debut in Once Upon a Mattress in 1959, to 11 glorious seasons of her own smash hit variety show, to her unforgettable film roles in movies like The Front Page and Annie, right up until this year's unauthorized biopic, Carol, about her longtime friendship with Julie Andrews. Nope. No, Tina, that's not what that movie was about. Watch it again. <laughs> Carol Burnett, is the rare entertainer to have won an Emmy, a Golden Globe, a Mark Twain Prize, and a Presidential Medal of Freedom. A combination known as the coveted Ega Mpfff. <laughs> and she has deserved every award because comedy is much harder than drama. Comedic actors have to do all of the same things dramatic actors do, but faster and often with a chimp. Right? <laughs> Mr. Michael Keaton knows what I'm talking about, right? He takes these dramas to relax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell the truth, Michael Keaton, what was harder, looking real seriously at a box of files in Spotlight or making a grilled cheese with an iron while holding a baby in Mr. Mom? <laughs> That's harder. It's harder. <laughs> and while we're at it, let's all calm down about Leonardo DiCaprio and how hard it was to shoot The Revenant, okay? So you slept in a horse and you ate bison liver. Big whoop. Carol would have slept in that horse, worn it, done a song and a dance, and made a much funnier face after eating something very disgusting. The point is, Carol is better than all of us. We're gonna give her a prize for it. We both grew up watching The Carol Burnett Show and besides seeing the comedy every week and how funny she was and how beautiful she looked, it was important for us to see that Carol was also the boss. It was her show. And that implanted in our brains, and it made us dream of a life where we could get paid to make comedy with our friends, but also be their boss. <laughs> we watched Carol. Yeah, we watched Carol with our moms, and our moms taught us 90% of what we needed to know to be the kind of women we are today. And the other 10% is Carol. So we love her and we thank her. Let's take a look at a few amazing moments from the career of Carol Burnett. <laughs> 